She's just released a new version of her autobiography called Nothing But The Truth. And Vicky is here and it's nothing but the truth because you're very honest in it. I am. I'm very candid. Well, I endeavour to be very candid always. Yes. So, yeah, because yeah, that's been your, your trademark. But sometimes perhaps sharing, oversharing. Maybe uh, back yeah. in the day. <laughs> yeah, I, I, sometimes I take it a little bit too far. Exactly. <laughs> but you, you completely reinvented yourself in a way oh. in, in the jungle because we actually did see the real you. Yes. Rather than this crazy version of you that was in a re scripted reality show, we actually saw the girl that we yeah. liked. We, we liked you, you know? Thank you, yeah. I think <laughs> rather than seeing this sort of like um, over the top caricature yes. um, of myself, you saw stripped back Vicky. Yeah. You saw the real me. Uh, no makeup, do you know what I mean? No hair extensions, sure. no way to hide. Uh, just me. And you were so funny. Thank you. You were so, so <laughs> funny. And you know what? Any challenge that was thrown at you, you just went for it. You just went for it. And you were far it. more grown up than any of the dafties in there, the so-called, <laughs> the over 50s that were supposed to be the elder statesmen and women and they were really acting like was. toddlers and you were like, turnaround. come on, sort it out please. <laughs> so how has it been since you've come out? I bet your feet haven't touched the ground. They haven't, no. Um, it's been a complete whirlwind. Uh, in a really good respect, you know sure. what I mean? Like, everything that's sort of come in my way, both personally and professionally, um, has been in amazing, but Good. very overwhelming nonetheless. It must be. Yeah, yeah. and I've found that like um, I'm desperate to sort of work hard and make a good impression, sure. and make the most of this brilliant opportunity I've been given. But you know me, Lorraine, I like to burn the candle at both ends. You do, my lovely. You like to party. <laughs> you do like to party. And you know, the, there was reports saying that you were shattered. Did you, did you feel a bit tired? Oh, God, yeah. yeah. Like, I'll hold my hands up. Um, again, I am very honest. Um, and I worked myself almost into the ground really, really hard. Sure. Um, just because the things that were coming my way were so brilliant. You don't want to say no. You don't. I no. mean, who says no to, like, loose women? Nobody. Who says, nobody says no to Lorraine. <laughs> nobody says no to, like, ringside seats for, like, the, like Anthony Joshua fight. You don't. You no. go to all these things. Of course. And then, of course, at the end of the week, you're tired. Yeah. Um, and you don't look your best. So <laughs> I needed... I've had, like, a good week off. Good. Got myself back up Newcastle. So you're, you're back. I'm raring to go. So that's where you recharge your batteries when you go home. It is, And then yeah. it's really good. And then everybody, everybody keeps your feet on the ground that's for sure oh my you're not wrong yeah, my mom and sister keep me humble put it yeah. that way <laughs> you look really well you Thank look great you. Right back and, at you. and it's 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 fantastic what's happened to you and that you've you've actually got this whole new career going on you you have had some dark moments i know that i know you have and yeah. i know you spoke on loose women about the fact that you got so bad you just wanted to end it all mm. um and anybody who's suffered from depression knows how difficult that is and when you're in that space it's really hard but you've got real strength of character to get out of that. How did you manage to do that? Was it just, okay. did you give yourself a good talking to or what was it? Honestly, like, there is no sort of, there is no magic trick mm. to when you feel down or, or when you feel overwhelmed or whatever. Um, and it, it is just one of those things where you have to dig deep. Yeah. I did. Um, I am really fortunate in the way that I have a brilliant mum and a lovely sister yeah. and a gorgeous like just support structure in general with me agents with me friends with everyone um who looks after us so they helped an awful lot i've got life coaches i'm not afraid to sort of admit yeah that. so you went for help and i did yeah. yeah i spoke to the sweetmans um and they helped me get so much clarity mm. um and take a step back um, like I say, Newcastle's my home will always be my little bolt hole where yeah. I go to refresh, relax. That helps getting away from the hustle and bustle of London, mm. which can often be too much. Um, and I think one of the things that really helped me, which a lot of people um, underuse, is exercise. Oh, I'm with you on that. Yeah. I mean, it is fantastic, isn't it? It is. It? Really do. I can't you know, preach the benefits enough. Whether you're you know, badly suffering from, from depression or you're just feeling a wee bit low, which exactly, is totally different, yeah. it just gives you that energy. It really it does, Vicky. It, it just makes you feel so much better. And you look better as well and you feel, you feel great inside. Mm. A lot of young girls will be looking up to you, mm. th especially now. <laughs> Maybe not so much in the Geordie Shore days, but n now God. they definitely do. And that, that, but that's a big responsibility that I'm sure you're very aware of. It's, it's huge. Um, role model status or whatever you want to call it is not something i ever aspired to um it was something that was thrust upon me um to a certain extent and rather naively i don't think in the early days i took it seriously at all sure. um i always tried to be very strong and opinionated and feisty when i was on jory shore but that often spilled into being just quite quite domineering and aggressive mm -hmm. um since i've got older um and sort of had more time to reflect i have 
I do take it so seriously, Lorraine. Mm. I try and be mindful of what I say, what I put on my social media, how I dress, how I present myself, while still remaining true to who I am. Mm. Because I don't ever, ever want to lose sight of who I am or where no, I've came not. from. And the opportunities, as you've said, you're going to be you're going to be standing this um, mad sort of histories thing, which is <laughs> oh great. The God. acting yeah. is happening, which is great. Drunk so histories. Drunk. It's lovely to see you, Vicky. <laughs> lovely to Good luck with you. everything that you do. Thank you very great much for having us. You.